And oh man, what a day it has been for the NBA 2K community upon the launch of the NBA 2K21 demo. Now the NBA 2K21 demo was literally a copy and paste from the NBA 2K20 demo with the addition of a couple pie charts. Now we've seen a lot of people speak their minds about it. The community is talking about it. Creators are talking about it. Streamers, YouTubers, everybody is talking about the NBA 2K21 demo because people were excited to play it. People were excited to get their hands on the game. Some people didn't think it was going to be like the same game as 2K20. Some people thought it was going to be, but people have their own opinions. The demo came out, everyone played it. Hey man, oh man, I've already said this before in a video, but it is the exact same game as NBA 2K20. I don't care what anybody says. I feel like I was playing NBA 2K20, minus the fact that they added in a pro stick function that I don't even know how to use, and I'm probably not going to use. I'm probably just gonna turn off the shot meter, but a lot of people voice their opinions on NBA 2K20. A lot of YouTubers, streamers, a lot of content creators, including Tysino. Now, my last video I made was Tysino giving his input on 2K21's demo. Basically, what happened was Tysino couldn't even get himself to play the rest of the demo. He got off the game and went and played PGA 2K Golf. He got off NBA 2K20 and played golf. He told himself he couldn't even convince himself to upload a video, which, by the way, if Tysino uploaded the build video, that's easy views. That's easy money. So the fact that he can't sit there and force himself to play a demo, force himself to actually do that, is, is speaking a lot for itself. Because like I said, that video will make him a lot of money, get him a lot of subscribers, a lot of views. But the thing is, Tysino is actually like a real guy. Like I actually respect Tysino and other creators for coming out and saying this with such a large audience because if you play that game and you don't say that it looks and it feels like NBA 2K20, which by the way, a lot of people shouldn't be surprised. I mean, I'm not necessarily surprised. I'm kind of shocked at the fact that they changed literally nothing. They didn't even change the single name of a badge. I think that's what I'm blown away about. But for the most part, you shouldn't be surprised that it's the exact same as 2K20. But Tysino, speaking up about it, is, is amazing. And I respect that a lot because obviously he is a very big person in the 2K community. Not only did he speak up, but Agent as well. Agent went on Twitter and he gave us a little walkthrough on what you should do with the 2K21 demo. Here you go. Now you might have downloaded the 2K20 demo and you might be thinking to yourself, how do I delete this demo? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because you experienced all that there was to experience in a matter of five minutes. I got you with this tutorial. What you want to do is just head over to your PlayStation menu. Uh, you want to click this options button right here. Boom. Once you click that, there's going to be a flurry of different options. What you want to do is scroll down to delete and then you can just mark it like that. Uh, and that way you can just uh, play 2K20 because at least the servers are on for that game. Okay, now you might be thinking to yourself, that didn't work for me and I still want to delete the game. What you want to do is uh, hop over to your PlayStation menu, uh, scroll over, go to settings, scroll down once you get here, go down to storage. Once you get to storage, just give your PlayStation a moment to calculate the system storage. It could take a while depending on how much stuff you have on your console. Uh, but once it's done calculating system storage, you feel free to just hop in, click on applications, and uh, you're going to find the demo right here, the NBA 2K20 demo. What you can do is just delete it like this. Uh, so make sure to select it and you, you know what you could just tag in this one right here and you just mark those right there like that Make sure you get it off your console, man It might take a moment. You know what I'm saying because there was a lot of new content added, but you're gonna be just fine fellas You're welcome I think agent giving that tip is probably the best tip we could ask for when it comes to the NBA 2k21 demo And I want to talk a little bit more about the NBA 2k21 demo because I made a video talking about how it's similar to NBA 2k20 and a lot of you guys in the comment section kept saying oh what did you expect what did you expect and i would love to have a honest conversation with you guys because i keep getting this all the time on twitter on youtube they're like oh you expected it to be the same game why are you complaining it's like okay you're not wrong when you say that like you're definitely right but at the same time it's like it's been three years it's been 2k19 2k20 and now what we think nba 2k21 from the demo obviously we don't know the full game but from seeing the demo it is very similar to nba 2k20 so i think we can all be in agreement that all three of these games seem very similar now a lot of you guys think for some reason that just because they're releasing a next gen game that we aren't allowed to be mad about current gen that you aren't allowed to hold 2k to a certain standard when it comes to current gen because oh they're working on next gen who cares about current gen that's not how it works. If you are a billion dollar company like 2K is, and you're simply putting out a game that is once again a copy and paste, I don't think any of that should go unnoticed. I don't think any of that should be swept under the rug. I don't think we should just say, oh, just because they're releasing next gen, all of this stuff is okay to do. It's not okay to do. 
and I don't know when the community decided that that was a thing. Like, I don't know why there's people on the timeline or there's people on YouTube in my comments saying that, why are you complaining when we knew it was going to be the same game? We thought it was going to be the same game. Don't get me wrong. But literally the exact same, like, when I say the same game, I mean, like, there's going to be some similarities. But nothing was different in the demo. Literally not a single thing. Like, the animations in the game, right there, actually, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I don't know why I couldn't say his name right there, but that dunk right there is literally an animation from 2K20. There are so many animations from NBA 2K20 in NBA 2K21, the demo, that sometimes I forget I'm playing the game. The only difference that I notice when I'm playing the game is that they added in that new shot clock and the shot meter. That's the only thing that makes me... That, that reminds me of the fact that I'm playing 2K21 over NBA 2K20. And I just don't agree with the fact that a lot of people are saying, oh, it's next gen, so who cares about current gen? I don't agree with that. And of course, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I don't agree with it. And I explained to you guys why I don't agree with it. Because at that point, it's just, at, at this point, it's just like, okay, we know 2K makes bad games, so we're going to settle for it. Like, realistically, me saying this, I don't know what I want, like, I don't really know what I would want to change. I mean, I'm kind of just speaking, just to speaking. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone's going to play it. Like, everyone's going to play 2K regardless if it's current gen or next gen. People are going to play 2K because it is a monopoly. We've known this for years. We've known this for a very long time. But I just don't agree with people using the excuse that 2K is coming out with next gen. And I wanted to have a conversation with you guys in the comments because I see a lot of you guys say the same thing. But that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel about it. And in terms of these content creators speaking up and saying something about the game, I actually appreciate that. I already said it about Ticino, but Agent's one that's really good about it. There's people who are... are are very big content creators have a very large following on twitch on youtube and they actually speak up about the game and i appreciate that and all of us appreciate it because it's not okay it's not cool for us to be manipulated every single year and when i mean every single year i mean every single year we've been taken advantage of we've been manipulated we've been lied to and we've been given a product that is not worth the money this game nba 2k21 if it comes out on current gen is not worth the money and i hope a lot of you guys who have not pre-ordered the game and have not bought the game wait until the game comes out on current gen if you're even thinking about buying current gen if i were you i would just skip current gen and wait until next gen unless you're a content creator or someone who's trying to get into content creation if not i would skip the entire game totally unless current gen comes out and it's somehow different from the demo but i highly doubt that's going to happen and the demo is probably going to be a 100 percent accurate representation of what we're going to see on the current gen game without further ado that is going to bring the video to an end i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like make sure to subscribe to the channel seriously subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm so close to 100k and i know you guys are enjoying these videos so drop a like subscribe all that fun stuff but thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace